Hello viewers, today we're going to be doing some modifications to this Cortelco phone. Since I don't have an actual wall box that I mounted on, it just kind of screws right into the wall here. And because of the way this, this one is designed, it's really not intended to work without a box. Now if I could get this off... Okay, I got it off. Um, what originally happened was this plastic piece sits in here and it slides up and down and this will stick right into your wall bracket. The problem is I don't have a wall bracket so what I've been doing is I have this thing connect the phone lines and use it like that. But, um, that's kind of ridiculous. So I have this thing here and you may recollect this from prior videos. This is more or less a, whoops, a DSL filter that I I took apart and removed the DSL filtering elements and just made connections here um, just to serve as like a wall plate. And so what we're going to do here is um, I'm going to put this thing back together because um, just opened up so you could see what it is and um, we're going to update the wiring on this to be uh, like the other one that I purchased recently so let's see if I can get this to close without falling apart This is not the easiest thing to work with. Okay, not a method I would normally recommend using, but for something like this, it doesn't matter. So, um, now, I'm pretty certain that even this plate here is not compatible with the way that this works. So let me just get this removed here. I'm gonna take apart this Cortelco phone so we can get into the to the way this is wired. Now one of the hardest parts is gonna be getting this this um, thing that holds the telephone number off. there I want to do those and then the cover should come right off come on bro there we go okay. fantastic so now looks like we have to well, actually, I don't have to do anything else because all I want to do is um, I'm just going to take this and I'm going to replace it with a, uh, a modular plug so I can just take it and plug it right into the, to the wall outlet. And that's actually how they make these things today. I bought a 2554, I think these are, and that's how it was made. They got rid of this, which is great because this thing really stinks. So anyways, um, I'm just going to cut this off here. And um, honestly, I can't ever foresee using that again, so I'm not going to worry about making it in such a way that I could reuse it. And I'm going to feed these wires back through here and have them come out the hole. That's great. We got one. One of uh, four, that's not a very good record. There's the rest of them. Okay. So 
So now I'm going to take this here. Hopefully I'll be able to see it well enough. I think it goes yellows, red, uh, yellow, green, red, and black. So stick this on here. We'll do yellow. Red. I hope I wasn't just blocking the video there. Probably was. Come on, Red, get in there. Red and black. Now, with my phone system, the two center plugs are the only ones that are used, and so it really makes limited difference to have these two outer wires, but put them there just to do it. So, looks like this is going to be matching now. Hopefully that's correct. So now we're going to crimp it. I don't think this crimping thing works super well with wires that are this small because it's really supposed to have you know like this a whole outer coating on it but I've done this before and it's worked and it looks like it's worked again so it's not going to have any force on it whatsoever so it really doesn't make a whole lot of difference um, let's see what's going to be the easiest way to test this got the headset here I'll plug this in and then um, I'll grab the test wire that I have. Well, it wouldn't be one of my productions if something like that didn't happen. I'll grab the test line and I'll put this thing on here. It's amazing my camera hasn't broken yet with the amount of times it almost falls. Oh, jeez. All right, now we're ready to connect it. Oh good, I hear something. All right, let's just make a test call. Look at that, it works. It works. Check, test, testing, on, test, testing, on. one, two, three, okay, okay, okay that works. Alright, that's perfect. That does exactly what I wanted it to do. Alright, so now, now what we're going to do if you're not sick yet, uh, you can keep watching. And uh, we're going to take this and we're going to mount this on the wall. <laughs> of course, the uh, screws are screwed in too uh, far. So I'm going to pull these screws out a bit. Yeah, try to use this. I can't reach the screwdriver. No, it's actually working pretty well. You know, I may have to switch to a different kind of screw because these really are not. Uh... 
if I take this out anymore, because these aren't very long screws, if I keep taking these out, um, I'm going to run into a problem with it not being tight enough. Okay, so the hair tools. Perfect. And now um, what will happen is we will get a um, this, this line here. I'll just put this back in place. Taking this out because I was going to just put it back the other way, but I figure why not connect it better since we can do that. And now this will come down here, and I'll have this little thingy. I'm not exactly sure what this is called. It probably has a name. I just don't know it. Actually, what I should do, and it would be really cool, is if I get another phone jack. I don't know. I got a whole box of stuff here. Let's see if I got a phone jack. I don't think I do. I've got more filters. I probably should take these and do the same thing I did with the other one. Oh, what's this? Well, here's the cover for a phone jack. Oh, without the guts, that's not of much use to me. Yo, I gotta clean this up. This is a mess. Well, I'm not seeing any phone jack guts in here. So, quite possibly, there just aren't any. These are the guts of the DSL filter. Just in case you were curious. Well, and there goes the battery, so I'll have to cut this and... Now i got to do more editing. Alright, so I guess I don't have it in here. Um... That's a nice cord. That's a nice cord too. I'm going to take this out because this is wasting the space in the box. Put the phone cords in a box. This is some real uh, quality entertainment here. Probably should just do that off camera. Okay. So now... So now what we're going to do is... Um, I'm going to take this and plug this in here. And... Put this on. And that's a lot nicer of a fit than before. Put these two screws in, which I haven't lost yet somehow. Oh god, unplug that because it's going to be live. Okay, I'll put this piece of paper back in for the phone number. I used to put my phone number on those things, but I figure now I can't because I'm always showing the phones in videos and the last thing I need is my phone number all over the internet. Okay, now clean that up. Jeez, it's not where that goes. The only thing I don't like about this, this adapter here is that I don't believe these can be screwed in any more than they already are. And they're not quite as tight as I'd like them to be, but, and I'll do reality, I mean, this is not going to go anywhere, so it's fine, but, um, so there we go, let's see, this I'll probably 
undo this here. Oh, this tie wrap is like snowing. Bring this up a little more. Get, get this a little bit neater. Yeah, okay, now I can. Let's just do it. Good. Okay, perfect fit. And, uh, Since I know people like to hear phone ring, phones ring, I'll go ahead and call it up. It does work flawlessly now that I got the amplifier on the line. Can't really hear it. Oh. Can't hear it because it's not working. How come it's not working? Hello, hello. Oh, huh, it wasn't plugged in. <sighs> now I gotta ring the phones again. What you were hearing was that, uh, that. That thing's nice and loud. Okay, there we have it. And just for those of you that for some reason would want to watch this, I'm going to go ahead and put these scores in the box on video because I got to do it and I record everything, so why not record this stuff? Can't even see it probably. There we go. What in the world am I ever going to do with all these phone cords? Wow, these are brand new. I haven't even been opened yet. This could probably be stored a lot better. Oh dear, that's spoiled. You know what? This is going to be too long. No one's going to watch this video. I'm going to go ahead and cut it here and I'll take care of this later. Thank you for watching, comment, subscribe, and out.